All right, everybody. So here is our basic setup. Um, I've got some hydrochloric acid. Um, I will put the measurements and the concentrations at the bottom of the screen. We have that here. It's been chilling on ice um, or in ice water for, oh, I don't know, better part of an hour now while I've been getting everything ready. Um, we have some N-butanol here. And I've had that chilling on ice for a while. Um, the ice bath that you see is just ice water. I've added some sodium chloride to it to um, keep the temperature low. Um, show you guys what this looks like. You can see it's just a clear liquid. There's really nothing to see. Um, we are also going to be using in the reaction, we have sodium nitrite here. And then the other things that we will need are over here. We have sodium chloride, sodium carbonate, and distilled water. And um, the first step in the synthesis is, well, the first step is obviously measuring it all out and chilling it all down. You want to make sure that this stuff is good and cold before you start. But after that, the first step is to add the sodium nitrite to um, the alcohol that you're going to be converting to the nitrite and let it stir. In this case, not all of the sodium nitrite will dissolve. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, it's happened for everyone that I've tried. Um, this is the one that I've done the most. I've done this several times before. Um, draw your own conclusions. And um, <laughs> so, trust me, this works. Um, anyway, so let's see. Can you guys see that? here. I want to do it where you guys can see it and I can, oh here we go. Come in from the side. That works I guess. <laughs> I hope so. Alright so I'm going to turn on the stirring. Can you see anything? Oh okay. That's better than I thought. Alright. I'm just going to add this in here. Alright. And that stops the stir bar. Fantastic. Oh, come on. That's fine. We have ways of dealing with that. Alright, we are going to let this stir for a little bit and um, get as much to dissolve as we can. Like I said, it's not all going to go into solution. I'm just going to let it stir for a minute. And then we will begin the addition of the hydrochloric acid to it. Alright everyone, so here's what the basic setup will look like. We have the addition funnel that's going to run straight into here. You can see it will it's a pressure equalizing one, so we won't have to worry about that. Um, we'll just leave it open at the top. And we will just slowly drip in the hydrochloric acid to our chilled mixture here. Um, allowing it to react con to, uh, will, <sighs> too much caffeine again today it will convert into nitrous acid which will react with the butanol to form n-butyl nitrite so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do here but I wanted to let you guys see what it looks like before I bring you in for the close-up view there we go okay there. No, it's voyeuristic grandeur. You've got the best spot. <laughs> okay, kids, here we go. And although I say kids, these videos are not meant for kids. I feel like I should make that clear. But the demographics, from what I can tell, break down to where most of the people watching are probably younger than me, so they're kids to me. So when I say that, YouTube, that's what I mean. It's just a generic term and does not in any way apply to actual kids. just want to be very clear on that. Alright everybody, here we go. We are going to very carefully open this up because this is basically concentrated hydrochloric acid. Just a little bit. 
bit at a time, make its way in there. You'll notice that we get a nice smurf bluish green color out of it, briefly. Oh, 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 too much. Don't want to generate too much heat and evaporate away our product. Turn up the stove. Mary, hush. All right, I'm just gonna let this keep going until it's all added in. Um, now that you guys have seen what it looks like, I'm going to add some more ice here. We want to keep it nice and chill so that we keep as much of our product as possible. Okay, so as the reaction goes on, you can increase the flow rate of the acid a little bit. You can see we've got a drop here. Well, we did have a drop about once per second, and we weren't having too much color change there at all. But yeah, it's as you go along, you'll notice that the reaction starts to slow down, and you can increase it slightly. Don't go overboard with it, though, but by, you know, a little bit. All right, this is the last bit of the acid. See what it looks like as the last bit is going in. So that when you're not doing this at home, you totally know what to expect. <laughs> All right, kids, that is it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to let this stir for 10 minutes and then we will move on to the next step. So I will come back once that's done. Alright, so it's been 10 minutes. You go ahead and take this off of here. And if you see it, here is the final product. Now, this stuff is not crazy about sunlight, so we're not going to want to, we don't want to drag our heels here, but that is what it looks like. Um, it is. Well, is it biphasic? Yes. Yes, it is. And our product is floating on top. So what we need to do now is to transfer it to a separatory funnel. Zoom out here. That contains 40 mils of distilled water. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Much of the oil little of the solid as possible. Mm, maybe the funnel is not my friend. I don't know. Where you might find the funnel? I guess we'll find out. Whew. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's lots of solid. It didn't quite work out how I would have hoped, but there we have it. Can you see that? Yay! All right. Now what we're going to do is gonna give it a little swirl just to get anything dissolved. It needs to be dissolved. Not going to be crazy with it. Right here.
everything settled. Let's get you guys a little bit closer. You can see a little bit here, a little bit better. Wow. Well, there you go. So, you know, I really hate this sound. It also was not my friend. I'm just going to have to do the best I can here, guys. I'm sorry. Wow. All right. Yep, that's the stuff, kids. All right. I am just draining this off, all the water. We're saving the top layer. And then we are going to wash this with um, 100 mils of saturated sodium chloride to draw all of the water out of it. I really hope you guys can see that. I really do. I need a camera person. Alright. Good. Make sure it's nice and tight. Cap that for the moment. Now. Okay. So here is our wastewater. And we have saturated sodium chloride. We need 100 mils of this stuff. some swirls here remember of course we're opening this up every time we invert it like that don't go too crazy we just want to make sure that fresh um, volumes of the solution are constantly coming into contact with each other that is the point of all this alright here we go pressure. Now we're going to let it settle here for a minute and separate out and then we will draw, draw that off and discard it and move on to our next step. Alright everyone, here is our final product. Yay! Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drain off sodium chloride solution alright, you know what I'm going to do this way instead, which is a hell of a lot smarter there we go Decided I am going to save it after all. I don't know what I'll do with it. It doesn't stay good for very long. Um, it will break down over time, no matter how many precautions you take. Um, you can prolong its life, though, by storing it over anhydrous sodium carbonate, which is what's in here. You see, it's not, well, hmm. Still a little bit clumpy. Shows that we didn't get all the water out of it. Oh well. I'm not that concerned about it. I really hope you can see all this. Where are can, can you see this? What the fuck can you see? Please, dear God, somebody get me a camera person. Alright, so here we go. There's our final product. 
and all of its pale yellow glory stored over anhydrous sodium carbonate powder. And again, you can prolong its life by protecting it from light. And if you don't have amber glassware, here is the poor man's solution to that. There we go. This has been the synthesis of M-butyl nitrite in my backyard. Don't you get any ideas now? So if you liked that video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, comment, share the video. And until the next one, y'all, I will see you later. That's made a mess.